you know I've sold a few bikes in the past motorcycles I've sold cars everything and I never got ripped off but I'm gonna tell you how to sell your motorcycle effectively without getting ripped off let's go for a ride watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today even though i have no plans on selling my cdr 1000 double i love this bike baby tell you doesn't have all the electronic rider aids crap on it reliable looks good you can change all the fairings even has a tank cover which most 99 percent of the other bikes don't have except for the cbr 600 double r has a tank cover so you can completely change the look like I did like four or five times <laughs> on my bike just because I like something new and different but I'll tell you I'll probably be selling a Ducati X Diablo at some point in the future um, currently don't have any plans right now to sell it but I'll tell you guys first off sell your bike the best places to sell your bike from my experience has been eBay I tell you, eBay has been fantastic. Also, you can put your bike up for sale on YouTube by just doing a video and sharing that with your audience. And also, you can embed this video in your eBay ad, and this will really help sell your bike fast. And what I do to get around paying the eBay fees is that they just email me. They give me their outside email address or something or phone number or whatnot. We make the deal without them. <laughs> and... uh and I get paid and they get a good deal on the bike um, I've also have sold via Craigslist but I haven't had that great a luck with Craigslist believe it or not um, or cycletrader.com I haven't really had a lot of success with them either so uh, I know you know with Craigslist it's a lot of cheap people like myself that they'll just keep continually trying to get you to bring down the price and then they, then they just disappear it's just annoying i don't like dealing with craigslist to be honest with you man and uh but anyways once you find a buyer somebody hits you up they want to come take a look at a bike the worst thing you can do is bring them to your house to look at a bike don't bring them to your house to look at the bike guys not in this day and age there's too many people out there that'll rob you uh or you know what i'm saying it's just better not to take that risk meet in a public place put your bike on the trailer or put it in the van whatever take it to a public location have them look at the bike uh take it um here in ohio some of our police departments recommend you take the bike or uh, whatever you want to sell off a of Craigslist to go to their police station and do the deal because they'll be obviously less likely you're going to get robbed at a police station or maybe even take it to the dealership and that way the person can even have the bike ins inspected there for them so they know they're getting a good deal on the bike and then even the salesperson can um, be a notary for the deal when you sell the bike you know on the title where you have to have it notarized uh, and I'll tell you guys, you want to make sure that you get a, a thorough bill of sale on there that says as is. Uh, you can download. There's some great bill of sales that I've downloaded off of the internet over the years. And uh, you want to have that notarized as well, that bill of sale. Have that notarized, man. And uh, in addition to the, uh, the uh, title, because you know you have to have that notarized anyhow. Uh, what I've done in the past is I'll have... The buyer meet me at my bank like I, I did one deal at Walmart uh, my CBR 600 double R had me meet him at Walmart in the parking lot he checked over the bike he wanted to get it we went my, my bank was right there at that particular Walmart and uh, and we did and then the uh, the banker they were the notary Republic so they took care of it right there and he was able to deposit the cash into my account uh right there so and that way it makes sure you don't get counterfeit money that's another reason why you want probably want to do the deal at the bank as well to avoid getting ending up with some counterfeit money and also it uh prevents you from getting uh, robbed 
you know if you go to the say you go to a public place parking lot of there and he hands you the money or whatnot i mean they, he may have a thug waiting to follow you beat you up and take your money but if you do the deal right there in the bank and uh you know and obviously it's not counterfeit because they're going to check for that and uh, you don't have to worry about getting beat up by some thug because you they know you won't have the cash on you only do cash do not take checks i repeat do not take checks there's a lot of scam artists out there that are running scams with checks where well, actually the check will clear but then eventually it'll show as insufficient funds and they'll be off with your bike so and like i said don't let them do any test rides when they come check the bike out if you want you ride the bike and show them that the bike is in good condition but don't let them ride the bike because if they drop the bike they'll just say sorry bud my bad <laughs> i don't want the bike now i don't like it man and then you're stuck with a jacked up bike don't do it guys i don't care if the person's an experienced rider a noob anybody don't let anybody test ride the bike in my opinion i've never done it like i said if they want to see it's in working condition i'll ride it around and show them you know and uh but you got to be careful out there man there's a lot of there's a lot of scammers out there uh, especially these day and age you know with craigslist and all it's a lot of fools on there that are just looking for a fool to, to take their money or steal their bike um so you have to be very careful out there and uh i've i've had success with everything i've sold doing it the way i i told you i've, I've done all of my deals in the bank as far as out of state um because i did sell my lexus back in the day a lexus x sc 400 on, on uh on ebay and i sold it uh he lived i think he lived out in i don't know he lived out in some california or out west somewhere uh but we did the deal via fedex and i i, I fedex the uh uh, the the bill of sale to him had him uh, have his whoever do the notary on the bill of sale and as well as the title and uh, he he gave me the money via uh, he went to my bank luckily I had a bank that was in his area and he deposited the money right there cash into at my bank that way it makes sure it's it's not counterfeit or anything no funny money and uh, and then I, I shipped the bike over, had the bike shipped to him. And then uh, I signed and had the uh, the title notarized and sent him a copy of the bill of sale and sent him the um, the title or whatnot to him uh, with my notarized signature on there. And his was, was he had his uh, notarized as well on there. So uh, everything went smooth, no problems with that guys. Um, but you have to be careful, really careful when you're buying something out of, uh, or excuse me, selling something and buying something out of state. Um, I bought my Ducati X Diablo S, which I kind of took a little gamble on, but it was a dealership that I bought it from. Uh, he, he sold specialty motorcycles and cars and stuff. And uh, he, uh, you know, the deal went smooth. He, he had, luckily, he again, he had bank where he lived uh so i was able to just deposit my funds into his his uh business account and uh we got the deal done no problems but be careful out there i hope these tips help you guys out i want you guys to leave a comment and let me know uh some tips that you guys have for selling a motorcycle and i'd love to hear it um i, I appreciate it i love uh, talking with you guys that's why i do these videos so that we can uh we can come together we gain knowledge together and uh become uh, uh wiser for that and i uh, appreciate all you guys for those of you guys that always ask me about my motorcycle gear you know my camel pants my boots gloves cameras everything i always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my gear and those are a bunch of links to all of my stuff cameras everything and for those of you guys that want to see more of my videos click on the menu tab my videos 
and those are a bunch of playlists with all over 1200 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through to find what you're looking for uh, hey hit thumbs up it really helps my channel helps me get motivated to do more videos when you hit thumbs up and you comment and we all talk about these these different issues going on so we learn together i appreciate all of you guys hey uh subscribe to my all the one motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel book at moto it showcases a van that i customized for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos trip videos uh, anything and everything bug out moto as a courtesy i included two video playlists one for new riders and those are all of the videos i've done over the years that i feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist hey Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.